Hi, now I am going to give the lecture about synthetic method. In this method, we proceed from known to unknown. Synthetics is derived from the word synthesis. Synthesis is a complement of analysis. To synthesis is to combine the elements to produce something new. Actually, it is reverse of analytical method. In this method, we proceed from known to unknown. So, in it we combine together a number of facts for form certain mathematical operations and arrive at a solutions. That is, we start with the known data and connect it with the unknown part. It leads to hypothesis to conclusion, it leads to known to unknown, it leads to concrete to abstract. Now, I am enlightening some of the examples of synthetic method. Okay. Now, I am going to teach the example of synthetic method. First, it's a problem if a square plus b square is equal to some a b, prove that 2 log a plus b is equal to 2 log 3 plus log a plus log b. It's an example. Now I can solve that problem in synthetic method. Actually synthesis means to join up or to combine up. Actually synthetic leads from hypothesis to conclusion. Here it is a hypothesis. It is a conclusion. It's a conclusion. In the synthetic case, now hypothesis to conclusion. Therefore, first I take the hypothetical part and solve the conclusion part. Therefore, take first a square plus b square is equal to some a b. It's a hypothetical part. Add and 2a b on both sides. On both sides. Then we get that. a square plus b square plus 2ab then 7ab plus 2ab therefore a square plus b square plus 2ab we can write as a plus b then whole square then 7ab plus 2ab is equal to 9ab therefore a plus b the whole square is equal to this 9ab now taking log on both sides Taking log on both sides, taking log on both sides, we get that log a plus b the whole square is equal to log 9a b. Log a plus b the whole square is equal to log 9a b. We can split the log a plus b the whole square is equal to 2 times of 2 log a plus b. Similarly, we write like this log 9 plus log a plus log b. We can write log 9 as log 3 square plus log a plus log b. Then we can write like this 2 times of log 3 is plus log a plus log b is equal to 2 times of log a plus b is a conclusion point. 2 log a plus b is equal to 2 log 3 plus log a plus log b. Therefore, first I take the hypothetical part. With hypothetical part, I can solve the conclusion part. Therefore, it is an example of synthetic method. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Now I am going to teach the example of synthetic method. The problem is if a by b is equal to c by b, prove that a c plus 3 b square divided by b c is equal to c square plus 3 b d divided by d c. We already know that synthetic uh, the term synthetic is derived from the word synthesis. It means it's a combining and joining. Actually, synthetic synthesis leads from Hypothesis conclusion. In this problem, this is hy hypothesis. This is hypothesis. It is conclusion. 
Actually, it's a synthetic method of therefore, first we take hypothesis as true one, then we can prove that conclusion part with the use of hypothetical part. Therefore, I take first the hypothetical part A by B is equal to C by D is true. Then add 3B divided by C on both sides. 3B divided by C on both sides. We get that A by B plus 3B by C is equal to C by D plus 3B by C. Here, A by B plus C by D, 3B by C. Here, B and C are numerator before. Therefore, we uh, equally split the numerator. Therefore, we can take the LCM. Therefore, AC plus 3B square divided by BC is equal to similarly we take the calcium on both sides this sides C square plus 3B D divided by BC actually it is a calculation part AC plus 3B square divided by BC is equal to C square plus 3B D divided by BC therefore it is a calculation Actually, first I take the hypothetical part. With the hypothetical part, I can solve the calculation part. Therefore, it is an example of synthetic method. Thank you. Now, I am highlighting some of the merits of synthetic method merits. It saves the time and labor. It is short and elegant method. It is neat method in which we present the facts in a systematic way. It suits majority of the students. It can be applied to majority of topics in teaching of mathematics. It glorifies the memory of the child. Accuracy is developed by this method. Now, I am pointing out some of the demerits of synthetic method. Demerits. It is an unpsychological method. There is a scope for forgetting. It makes the students pass a listener and encourage scam. In this method, confidence is generally lacking in the students. There is no scope in discovery. The recall of each steps cannot be possible for every child. Conclusion, though both analytic and synthetic methods seem to oppose each other, they complement and support each other. Analysis leads to synthesis and synthesis makes the purpose of analysis clear and complete. The teacher while teaching can use analytic method and can engage the students to present them in a synthetic method. That is, analysis forms a beginning and the synthesis follow work. The useful forms of statement and proofs found in textbooks are examples of synthetic method. Beginning with known definitions, assumptions and axioms, the sequence of steps are deduced and conclusions are arrived at. The teacher may offer help for the analytic forms of the solutions and leave the synthetic work to the students. Thank you.